This film will present a digest of some basic research which explains how the use of well-selected 16 millimeter motion picture teaching films has improved instruction. These research studies explain how film experiences may help students learn increased amounts of new information which is remembered longer and which therefore may be applied efficiently to problem-solving situations as pupils progress from lower to higher grades. Recognize this gentleman. In English, he is called cockroach, croton bug, roach, water bug, or black beetle. The Germans call him Schaben, the French La Blatt, and in Spanish, he is known as La Cucaracha. No matter what the language or country, the cockroach is an unwelcome and disgusting pest in any home. Let's take a look at Senor Cucaracha, how and where he lives, and better still, how to get rid of him. Without doubt, some of the most effective teaching goes on in the primary grades. As the teacher begins instruction in reading, she knows that experiences and understandings must precede the printed word in its comprehension. She recognizes the axiom before the word, the idea, or reading readiness, then reading. Before the word, the idea simply means that the child must first gain understandings about real things, concrete things. Later, the child can associate appropriate understandings with the words or phrases that stand for them. The teacher explains this process as we see, we learn, we read. Dad? Yes? Where do babies come from anyhow? My mothers bring them into the world. But why do mothers bring them? Johnny, by the grace of heaven, mothers are the only ones who know how to bring babies into the world. That's right, Dad. Mothers do bring babies into the world. Daddy? Yes? Why do babies have fathers? Well, there wouldn't be any babies without fathers. But why? Well, your child is inquisitive. As you can imagine, technique is everything. Besides such work as you are about to see, which were first developed in the Soviet Union and are now practiced in this country, The intelligent creatures on this planet call themselves human beings, and they exist in an amazing variety of conditions. Some live in heat-laden jungles, wearing very little clothing on their Dad. bodies. That's right, Daddy. Dad. Mothers yes. do bring babies no into the world. Why do the cockroach is an unwelcome well, there wouldn't be any babies without animals. fathers. Let's take a look at Senor Cucaracha. The intelligent creatures on this planet call themselves human beings, and they exist in an amazing variety of conditions. Understandings they will later meet through words in books. Understandings are first gained by seeing things at first hand, watching, experiencing. If not emptied during sexual intercourse, they are periodically emptied during sleep in nocturnal emissions or wet dreams. Wet dreams are a perfectly normal body function, which is nature's way of getting rid of stored up sperm. Therefore, the common belief that intercourse or masturbation are necessary to relieve the pressure of stored up sperm is absolutely not true. Millions of spermatozoa are stored, ready for ejaculation. Can't see them. 
some things are so small you can't see them either. Some things move so fast that no eye can fully that you have to have more patience than an educator has to teach people to see them. Some things are hard to understand. Some things can't be learned by reading. practice continues in relating ideas to words, children soon learn to read, which in itself is little more than the process of matching new experience with appropriate words. The abdomen bears no special structures except the reproductive organs. The female sex organs, as seen from outside, consist of several folds of skin or tissue called the labia or lips. These labia cover the urethra through which urine is passed and the entrance to the vagina. But education is something more than a service we owe every young American, that it may be a vital factor in our national survival, that brain power is a force that has world significance. In Spanish, she is known as La Cucaracha. No matter what the language or country, the cockroach is an unwelcome and disgusting pest in any home. Let's take a look at Senor Cucaracha, how and where he lives, and better still, how to get rid of him. The vagina stretches to permit passage of the child, and aided by contractions of the abdominal muscles, the child is brought into the world in a normal manner. This, then, is the story of reproduction. A story which any parent should fully understand, not only to ensure the arrival of a healthy child, but also to cope with the sensitive minds of children, your children, throughout successive stages in their constant search for knowledge. On your answers may well depend the physical and emotional health of future generations. I just phoned the hospital, they've had twin boys. Twins, eh? Well, poor Jim. What do you mean, poor Jim? I'm just thinking of all the questions he's going to have to answer. Perhaps this is the most important and most beneficial outcome of all of this talk of critical times in education, that more of us are thinking about it and more of us are looking for ways to improve the techniques of education, teachers and members of the community alike. Of course, as we think about improving techniques characteristically of the world in which we live, we think of using new communications devices. Not our overloaded teachers, not our overloaded curricula, with the many new things there are to teach in a complex society. It makes sense to reach out and employ the new technology. But the inhabitants of planet Earth do not always welcome culture changes. There is often a resistance to anything different from the habits of the past. Julie, when I was a girl, we wouldn't have been caught dead with no more clothes on than that. My stars, what are our young people coming to these days? Oh, Granny, everybody dresses like this. Well, I don't approve of it. Every culture provides a means for those members who conform to maintain their self-respect and creatures on this planet others. call themselves human beings. All cultures, they exist through in their various variety of traditions and mythologies. Some live in heat-laden jungles, wearing very little clothing on their bodies. 